Hello, this is Michelle with Stamped for You. Uh, we're getting ready to do an oyster dive here. Let me fix everything. For some reason, when you place everything in front of the camera and it looks like it's all in there, and then you turn the video on, it's in two completely different places. No idea why. Only one camera lens, but hey, that's okay. So, we tried to do this live on Facebook. Um, I live in a big city. No reason that my internet should always uh, not work on Facebook, but it doesn't for some reason. So it keeps uh, cutting in and out with the audio and saying I have a slow connection and starting and stopping. So um, we're just going to continue doing them on YouTube as we uh, had done in the past. Um, so this is a, I'm doing this live. Um, however, then when I post the video, it is a recorded video. So um, what we have here is Angelique uh, placed an order uh, with one of our uh, design specialists and she chose our elf pearl setting. So this is the necklace that we're going to set the pearl on. And um, this is, she chose, uh, we're doing a uh, Beach Boys theme, we're doing the Kokomo theme uh, for this board. So she chose the Key Largo oyster. So that is her oyster. We'll see if we can even put some... Uh, tunes on here. I don't know if you can hear them, but some theme music. So this is our Key Largo Oyster. Um, we'll try to always have a board available, so ask your design specialist to see the current board. Um, if you want to choose your own oyster, um, we can always just send you a random one. Uh, the cool thing that stamp for You offers is if you were to purchase one of our lockets, you can actually do your own oyster dive at home. So this is an example of a locket. You can get it on a necklace, uh, keychain, bracelet, um, bookmark, anklets, whatever you'd like. But when you open up and get your pearl out of here, you could place it right in your locket, slip it on your chain. Um, I have a chain here, but it's got a knot on it. So you can put your chain right through there, and that way it helps keep the locket closed, and you won't lose your pearl. Um, and then if you were to get this on a bracelet or something else that you can't slip through there, um, there will be a hook on there, a lobster clasp that you can uh, clasp the locket to. And uh, the cool thing about having a loose pearl is you could buy more of our lockets. We have a turtle and a starfish. Um, I actually have a starfish out here maybe still. Maybe not. Anyways, we have other lockets available. You could actually just move your pearl around in other lockets for other styles. Um, so, but with our settings, what happens is when you get your pearl out of here, it's going to be a pearl with no holes or anything on it. And I will drill a hole in it. This is just an example. And put the loop on there so we can set it on basically anything. As I mentioned, um, Angelique chose the elf pearl. So that's an example of a setting that we can do an example pearl um, that we can um, put right in on your setting for you. Okay. So am I just delaying this, the inevitable? I'm going to squeeze this guy and see if we can get him to open a little bit. And um, these are freshwater pearls. They actually vary in shape and size. So we'll measure how big this little guy is. And um, I don't want to break him necessarily, so we might just use the part that's open. So if you're doing this at home, you can use a knife. Please don't cut yourself. Um, you do need something a little bit sharp to cut through the edges. Break him. He's a little bit easier if we can break the seal. So um, now he can talk to us. Maybe he can say hi. We'll see. Nope. Okay. So these can vary in shape, color, and size. The color is dependent on um, the environment that the oyster lived in. So um, the, you know the different elements in the water and stuff that he grew up in. Ooh. So from inside here, you can see he's pretty big. And he looks kind of pink. We'll get him out of there and see what he looks like. He's an awesome shape. Freshwater pearls, um, natural freshwater pearls, are known for their whimsical shapes. So that's what these guys are. I don't know if I showed you, but how pretty the oyster that she picked, her Key Largo oyster, was really pretty. has lots of pretty ridges on it. So, let's see if we can get this guy cleaned up a little bit. So, 
So if you see this is salt here, um, and it'll show you kind of how white, which on the white uh, salt, what color we got here. So it's a really pretty between peach and pink. So let's see how big we got. I love it, Angelique. What do you think? I know you can't answer me because you're not here, but I love it. This one's really, really pretty. Okay, so looks like almost a seven millimeter by about four millimeter that way. He's really cool looking. Hopefully we're staying nice and focused. Okay, so instead of yammering your guys' heads off, I will let you get back to business, but I wanted to show you um, Angelique's beautiful pearl reveal. That's gorgeous. So now what I will do is I will drill this for her. I will take it and drill a hole probably in the top there the way I had it set. As you can see, there's nothing in it. It's a brand new loose pearl. So I will drill a hole probably right there, and we will get him set on her elf pendant. Um, but again, had you ordered a locket, and you still can. Um, I'm going to put all of our lockets are already in our diffuser collection, but um, you can actually purchase these separate um, if you were to uh, get a loose pearl and switch it in and out of there. As you can see, he's huge. He takes up almost the entire locket. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, Angelique, you will have. I will ship out your pearl tomorrow.